www.mail.mail. Voila! My brand new story mobile! Shiny new story mobile. Pretty nifty, huh? I built it to hold stories about Busy Town. Do you have any Apple stories? Can we see the books, Mr. Fix It? Of course! Hey, it's empty! Oh no! I must have forgotten the stories! I am a born writer. Maybe I can write the stories for you. In fact, I... Whoa, whoa! Come back here, hat! Looks like Mr. Frumble can't help us right now. But who will write all the stories for the Storymobile? I'm sure if we drive around Busy Town, we'll find people to write some stories. That way, the Storymobile will be full of stories in no time. That's a great idea! Hop aboard, kid! Wow! Isn't this neat? All it needs is some good stories. Don't worry. We'll find some great ones in Busy Town. We can even write some ourselves with the story writer. The shelves will be filled in no time. I can't wait to start reading. I'm a regular bookworm, you know. We can go to the farm and ask Farmer Soybean to write us one. We could go on a camping trip with Hilda. She'll write us a story. Then there's the beach, the market, and the school. We're sure to get stories if we go all those places. Then afterwards, we can read them by selecting a book from the shelf. And we can always stay right here and write our own stories. There's so much to do. Let's go. There are lots of things to do in Busy Town. Click the place you want to go or click the story writer to write a story of your own. Let's go to Farmer Soybean's farm. My hat must think it's a bird. Farmer Soybean, we're collecting stories to put in the Storymobile. Would you write one for us, please? I'd like to write some stories, but I have a lot of work to do around the farm. I have to put the hay into the barn, pick the apples in the orchard, and do the farm chores. But if you help me around the farm, I'd be pleased and proud to write stories for the Storymobile. We'd be delighted to help. You've got a deal. I'll name some things in the farmyard. See if you can find them. Do you see the... Cow. Cow. Great job. Now, look for the... Duck. 
That's enough for now. We have to figure out if these two things rhyme. If the two words rhyme, click yes. If they do not rhyme, click no. Then we can put all the hay into the barn and help Farmer Soybean. Box. Box. You're right. They do rhyme. Do these words rhyme? Mouse. Hay. You're right. They do not rhyme. Do these words rhyme? Truck. Duck. You're right. They do rhyme. Only five more bales of hay left. Do these words rhyme? House. Mouse. You're right. They do rhyme. Do these words rhyme? Chick. Cat. You're right. They do not rhyme. Do these words rhyme? Float. Goat. You're right. They do rhyme. Only four more bales of hay left. Do these words rhyme? Pale. Fox. You're right. They do not rhyme. Do these words rhyme? Cat. Bat. No, those words do rhyme. Do these words rhyme? Fox. Hat. You're right. They do not rhyme. Do these words rhyme? Dog. Log. You're right. They do rhyme. Only three more bales of hay left. Do these words rhyme? Hen. Pen. You're right. They do rhyme. Do these words rhyme? Hat. Cat. You're right. They do rhyme. Do these words rhyme? B. Bird. You're right. They do not rhyme. Only two more bales of hay left. Do these words rhyme? Goat. Coat. You're right. They do rhyme. Do these words rhyme? House. Horse. You're right. They do not rhyme. Do these words rhyme? Fly. Pie. No, those words do rhyme. Do these words rhyme? Cow. Cat. You're right. They do not rhyme. Only one more bale of hay left. Do these words rhyme? Pig. Dog. You're right. They do not rhyme. Do these words rhyme? 
sheep. Jeep. No, those words do rhyme. Do these words rhyme? Dog. Corn. You're right. They do not rhyme. Do these words rhyme? Cat. Bell. You're right. They do not rhyme. We did it. We put all the hay into the barn. We can see if Farmer Soybean is finished with a story now. Or there's always more hay to put into the barn. Do these words rhyme? Are you sure you are? Good work, Huckle and Lowly. You finished, and so have I. I just put my first story in the story mobile. Thanks, Farmer Soybean. I can't wait to read it. Duck. Well. Chicken. C. Chicken. Each apple on this tree has a letter on it. If we find the ones that match. You got it. K. That's right. Hooray for you. Good work. Let's pick another basket of apples. Three left. N. Nice job. O. Way to go. D. That's great. A. Excellent. Let's pick another basket of apples. Only two left. M. Terrific. G. You got it. X. That's right. Hooray for you. Let's pick another basket of apples. Only one more to go. X. X. Good work. A. A. Nice job. B. Way to go. Y. That's great. We did it. We filled all the baskets with apples. Maybe Farmer Soybean is finished with a story. We can go see. Or we can pick more apples. Are you sure you want to? Great job, Huckle and Lowly. You finished, and so have I. My second story is in the story mobile. Thanks a lot. I hope it's about apples. Here are three pictures of work that has to be done on the farm. Our job is to figure out which one happens first, second, and last. Click on a picture, then click on the spot in the story where you think it goes. Then click OK. Pull it up slowly. Put the bucket in the well. Carry the water home. Nope. First, first you have to choose a picture. Put the bucket in the well. Pull it up slowly. Carry the water home. Terrific. 
do another. Now there are five to go. Do you want to play? Bake. Fill up the pan with sliced apples. Bake the pie. Time to eat. Yum! Hooray for you! Let's do another. Four more. The tire is flat. Let's fix it. No flat now. That's great! Let's do another. Three left. Pick the apples. The basket is full. Pick the apples. The basket is full. Here's one for you. Way to go! Let's do another. Only two left. We need to wash the clothes. Time to put them away. We need to wash the clothes. The wind helps them dry. Time to put them away. You got it! Let's do another. Only one more to go. We take the milk to the house. We milk the cow. We take the milk to the house. We drink the milk. Hooray for you! <laughs> Hooray for us! We put all the pictures in the right order. Farmer Soybean may need our help with something else. We could go see, or... There's plenty more to do around here. Are you sure you want to stop playing this game? Good work, Huckle and Lowly. You finished and so have I. I just put the third story in the Storymobile. Thanks, Farmer Soybean. That wasn't very hard at all. Do you think we can still find some more stories? Right there. Our busy farm. We have such a busy farm. Each day there's much to do. The morning starts with rooster's call. Cock-a-doodle-doo. <coughs> On my tractor, I plow the field. Turn up plants rows of seeds. The seeds grow into vegetables, what everybody needs. I cut the hay and bundle the bales, then haul them to the barn. Up into the loft they go, where they stay dry and warm. In the orchard, I spend some time picking apples from the trees. Turnip takes care of the beehives, where honey is made by bees. We load up the truck with our produce and drive it to the store. We sell the fruits and vegetables, then go home and grow more. Planting Corn Farmer's soybean is up and dressed early in the morn. He sips a cup of tea and says, It's time to plant some corn. First, he plows the field in nice neat rows like these. 
Then, with his planter, he sows a lot of seeds. Farmer Soybean is up and dressed early. Soybean brings a sprinkler. It sprinkles to and fro. This gives the seeds some water. Water helps them grow. With Farmer Soybean's care and the sun's warm rays, the small plants start to grow in just a few days. Soybean's corn grows tall. It's really growing fast. Silk tassels peek out from the leaves. The ears appear at last. When the corn silk starts to brown and the ears are ripe and thick, soybeans hard at work again. The corn must all be picked. Soybean drives the corn picker from sun up until dark. Until the ears of corn he picks fill up his cart. Grocer dog sells the corn at his market down the street. People come from miles around to buy some corn to eat. Soybean looks at his cornfield. He says, "It's time to eat." He picks some corn and cooks it. Mmm, my corn is sweet. The missing eggs. Mr. Farmer Pig wakes up early. Mrs. Farmer Pig is already up. Mr. Farmer Pig stretches and yawns. He goes to the hen house to get some eggs. <sighs> Mr. Farmer Pig looks inside the hen house. There are no eggs to be found. Mr. Farmer Pig looks outside the hen house. There are no eggs there either. Oh no! says Mr. Farmer Pig. The eggs are missing. <laughs> Mr. Farmer Pig walks to the barn. He looks in the front of the barn, and he looks in the back. But there are no. Eggs. Mr. Farmer Pig searches the cornfield. He looks to the left. He looks to the right. No eggs. Are the eggs in the orchard? Wonders Mr. Farmer Pig. He looks up. He looks down. But all he sees are apples. Poor Mr. Farmer Pig. Mr. Farmer Pig scratches his head. I give up, he says. There are no eggs on my farm today. Mr. Farmer Pig walks to the house. Mmm. Good smells are coming from Mrs. Farmer Pig's kitchen. Good morning, says Mrs. Farmer Pig. Here are your eggs. Lucky Mr. Farmer Pig! He finds the missing eggs after all, cooked just the way he likes them. <laughs>